This video on the Fargo DTC4250E card printer demonstrates how to install a motorized smart card encoder. All parts required for the installation are included in the kit. Remove the two screws from the back of the printer which secure the top cover in place. To remove the top cover, hold it at the front and pull upwards. Remove the LCD display by pulling it forwards from the top. The part number of the motorized smart card encoder kit is 047713. The kit contains the following items. A lock to hold the encoder in place. The motorized smart card module. A USB board. A yellow notice card. And the contactless module. Remove the jumper from the main board and connect the kit USB board. Secure it in position with the long screw provided in the kit. Install the contactless encoder in bay 0. Route the encoder's USB cable under the printer frame and connect it to the newly installed board. Snap the LCD display back into position. Install the motorized contact smart card encoder into bay 2. Ensure it is seated correctly and makes firm contact with the main board. Line up the encoder lock with the screw hole and secure it with the screw provided in the kit. Replace the top cover. Replace the top cover securing screws. The printer's firmware must be 1.4.1.1 or higher to recognize the motorized smart card encoder. Click Start, then Devices. Click Printers and Scanners. Click on DTC4250E Card Printer. Click Manage and then Printing Preferences. Click the Diagnostics button. This launches the Fargo Workbench application. Select the printer from the drop-down menu. Click Printer Information to check the installed firmware version. Firmware version 1.4.1.1 is required to recognize the motorized encoder. Click Update Manager. Select the printer and click Select Firmware File. The firmware file was previously downloaded to the PC. Select the firmware file and click Open. Click the Begin Upgrading Firmware button. Now the firmware upgrade will begin and should take 3 to 4 minutes.
Once the upgrade is completed, the printer will automatically restart. Click on Printer Information and then Refresh Printer. Here you can see the firmware is now at version 1.4.1.1. To see more technical videos, please visit our HID YouTube channel.